going on YouTube? Justin here, aka Goofy Skating Lifestyle, back at it again with another cooking video. Today I've got some chicken flavored ramen noodles by Maru Chan. Basically every kind of ramen noodle that would be in this packet, I'm going to be cooking with you guys today, bringing you along. So if you all don't know how to do it or just want to watch a video that I make, you can enjoy it. So without further ado, this is how to make ramen noodles. Enjoy. Alrighty guys, so there is about a bajillion ways you can make these. You can make them by pounding on this, crunching it up and whatnot, getting yourself something like this, putting it in the microwave until they start making sizzling noises without any water in them and then putting water in there, putting the lid on top, soaking them in it, and eating it that way, making them a little crunchy. Or you can make it the soup way, which we're gonna be doing the traditional soup way. And there's many other ways you can do it. You can put peanut butter and take out the chicken in your ramen. I'll do that sometimes, where I'll just put peanut butter in the noodles and drain all the water out. Um, you can do a mac and cheese style and use like half of the chicken and no soup or whatever. But I'm just gonna do the normal soup way because I wanna eat the normal soup way this time. Enough yapping, I'm going to put enough water to fully submerge the ramen noodles. I'm just gonna do about half of this uh, stove top pan here. I don't know, um, I'm drawing a blank of what it's called, saucepan, whatever you wanna call it. Don't really need the lid. You can use the lid if you want. Please um, be aware of safety precautions when using a gas stove, even electric stove. If you are a child and need parental supervision, I would highly advise you to get your parents before you do something like this. Anyhow, I've started it up. You can change the temperature to your liking on how fast you want it to start boiling, but you want to get it to boiling temperature to where it's boiling and whatnot. And then we'll throw the packet of um, ramen in. I'll take that apart and stuff once it's boiling. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, as you can see, it's starting to boil up. So we are about to open this packet up. Let me turn you guys around and open it up. All right, guys, obviously, let's open, pack it up, simple, open it up. There's going to be your noodles and your chicken packet. Put your chicken packet to the side. Do not put that in the boiling water. You're going to want to get your square pack of noodles, plop it right in, just like so. Hold on. And plop right in, just like so. It's going to be sitting on the top like that. Make sure you submerge it. Put the lid on if you would like. Turn the heat down to low, your lowest setting, so when your lid is on, it doesn't overboil and flood over top. And once the noodles are soft and can pull apart, which would probably be about three to five minutes, you can either choose to drain your excess water and put it in there, or you can use the amount of water that you put in there and once you guys have plopped your noodles in and set the lid on top, it's going to take about three to five minutes to finish your noodles. But once your noodles are thoroughly cooked and finished, you can go ahead to the next step, which I'll bring you guys along here once they're done cooking. All right, guys, the noodles are done cooking. This last step here is optional before you pour in your soups flavoring. I'm just pouring some of the water out. I like just a little bit of water in my noodles. Pour the noodles back in here. Make sure you have your strainer to pour it in so it doesn't fall in the sink or carefully pour it out and hold a spoon over the noodles like this or something so the noodles don't drop in there. The only reason why I'm not doing it that way and use the strainer is because I'm using one hand for my phone to record. Now let's go ahead and plop my noodles in water 
into my bowl that I'm going to be eating it in. Get your chicken flavoring or whatever flavoring you have. And once you get your chicken flavoring, simple, open it just like so. And you're gonna wanna just put it all along evenly as you can so it's not just in one spot so it's easier to mix through and you don't get a weird spot of it. Go ahead and mix it around. Get all that flavoring in the water and in the noodles. And I usually like to let it sit for a little bit because it is extremely hot and will burn my mouth. So make sure you let it cool off before you eat them. Unless you have a really strong mouth, you're going to burn your mouth and it's going to be horrible. Um, but that is how to make ramen noodles. I hope y'all are enjoying the content so far. And until the next video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.